I'm Zero FXB. Welcome to my channel. So you want to get your FTM 200 connected to your HRI 200 box. That's fine. So what you need to do is register with Yesu. Go to this link here where it says member registration. Then it will ask you to put your email in here. Click send and they're going to send you the registration form and you'll be ready for your HRI 200 box. To get why get this box? Because it's going to allow you to have your own room. It's also going to allow you to have analog connections. You'll be able to walk around your house with not a digital radio, but with an analog radio. It'll be a both phone app, just going via the HRI 200 and the FTM 200. But you will lose the use of your HR of your FTM 200 because it becomes a donor radio, but then you can use all your yeah, other radios, including right? digital radios, GM4, to talk Charlie, through it. So uh, register, get yourself a number, you know, and let's move on to the uh, once you've got that, downloading the software uh, and then first time and activation and some tests on our HRI 200 and our Yesu FTM 200. Uh, now we can enter our node IDs that we got from Yesu. So let's do that now. The first time boot up of the HRI 200. I'm just typing that in now. Hopefully, it will fire up. Look, ID entry. It should all come to life. Now, remember, you need another radio to talk through the FTM 200, so that looks okay. We'll click OK again again and it should all come to life we're not going to change any settings now but we might put in the frequency of my transceiver so let's let, let that populate you'll notice at the bottom you've got room ids in the middle you've got user ids that's connected fat quite fast you don't really see much on the radio you can see it says hri 201 and it, it has given us a frequency that we can change so what we'll do, we'll just quickly change that with file, transceiver, I'm just going to put in 438.575, uh, because that's what I use quite often. Click apply, and the radio will reboot. When it comes back on, it will have that frequency on the screen. So now you won't hear anything from the radio in this mode. So Let's click OK. Now, what we'll do is grab my handheld on it's just my FT5. Put it onto 43. I'll see if I can get it in the camera one second. Okay, it's there, it's on 438.575, simplex, no tone. Uh, DN mode. Now, remember, the good thing about the HRI 200 is you can use it in FM analog mode and you can have your own room. So these are quite handy things, but you do lose the functionality of the FTM 200. So let's try and connect to a room. We'll create a favorite. So let's go to CQ UK here, right click, and we're going to select add bookmark and it puts it at the top here. You can manually put rooms in, connect here, connect to, and then we could put in, let's try 21080, which I think is America Link. Click OK, and if it is America Link, which it is, it will start to show now. Can you see now that not everything is showing up at the moment? Because that's because of our ports. So you do need to select your port check here. And it click start, and mine's going to say no at the moment because I know that I haven't changed the ports on this particular node. So what we'll have to do is switch over so we can use that to my other to my other Wi-Fi connection. Okay, we've switched over to the Wi-Fi or basically the router where I've had, I've done the ports and I'll, I'll link in a video of doing the ports into the description. So we'll click start again and that should be all okays now. That's good. All green here. Can you see that? So that's nice to see. And we're now connected. If someone speaks, we will hear them. So what I'm going to do is just key up on the on the radio and just do a quick test. And you should see it go green here on the left. Just turn the volume down. 
on the so we are hearing uh, this radio when it keys on the FT200 let's just check what mode I've got the transceiver on so we go file transceiver now it looks like we've got it in FM mode so that's quite interesting to show you that so we'll just change the mode to FM on my handset Okay, so there's our handset is now in FM mode, and it could be any handset. It doesn't actually have to be this handset. M0 FXB test, M0 FXB test. And you saw it go green on the screen there, so that's fine. Now, if you want to switch to digital, we can do that. We've just got to change our settings up here. Click OK for now. We would just disconnect, so connect here, so go disconnect. You get that noise from the radio and go to file, transceiver, and we can just switch the digital, click apply. So it's, same, it's the same, but the radio will now be receiving in DN mode. And all we got to do is change the mode on our FT5 to DN, and we'll just do it again. I click OK here, and in, as you can see, you can set the frequency and the power. Click OK. At this point, you would have a dummy load in your FTM 200. So let's connect to one of our favorites that we've chose. Quite a few you can che choose from here. Let's freestyle there. We can add that as a favorite. At the bottom, America, is that America link? No, America RV. CQ UK, I mean, it goes on, it's a long list. The thing about the having when you're using a HRI 200 box on the WiseX system, not a hotspot, is you get the full system, you know, as it was designed. You, you can still use the X button to log into the, uh, to log into the, so you don't have to, you basically don't have to use this control panel that I'm using. You can hit the X button and you can control everything that way. We'll do that in a sec as well. So right now, let's click to CQ UK. Go right click on the blue section here and connect. Now that gets into CQ UK. Yeah, looks like there's some activity there. So the idea of this is that I can walk around the house now uh, and talk to people. I'm not tied to the radio, the FTM 200, all the WireZX software. But you know, th this is pretty much how the software is designed to be to be used. And it, like I said, I'm not sure if it will work with the X button in this mode. Just it's been a while since I've used this. Let's reconnect for now, see if we can get a contact, and then we can do separate videos on other modes, can't we? And you've got lots of settings here that you can set. You can even send QSL cards. This box here is effectively is a QSL card. You can upload your own QSL card and send one. This is pretty cool. So I think we'll leave this video as sort of the startup video for the... HRI 200 on the FTM 200. So right now the 200 is acting as a donor radio and you saw in the earlier part of the video how to connect this up, set it up and, and um, apply for your number. Thanks for watching my channel. 73, all the best.